Hello friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here and today's review for you, M43 by Old Nation Brewing in Williamston, Michigan. M43 is a New England style IPA from Old Nation Brewing in Williamston, Michigan, which is right up the road from Brighton and Howell on 96, if you're familiar with the area. So real quick story time, when I first got into craft beer about 10 years ago, IPAs are really kind of not super popular just in their infancy and I was all about trying any that I could get my hands on. So as time went on they kept getting hoppier and hoppier and, and the flavor profile just seemed like everyone was in a race to get their beer to taste like a pine cone and I just fell off the wagon. Um, the thing that I'm seeing and really enjoying about New England IPAs and especially these IPAs that I've been trying lately is that it's more about New England IPAs in particular you know, they're more about balancing the bitterness and the hops. It's not just about tasting like a pine cone. And, and IPAs in general, you know, they're adding new f flavor profiles. You're getting some with coffee. You're getting some with more fruity flavors and, and stuff like that. So I just think that's really cool to see. And about the haze um, that kind of separates New England IPAs from the, uh, you know, normal IPAs, double IPAs, Imperials. Old Nation says that the haze in their beer isn't from yeast, but from an interplay of lipids from the malted oat and oils and acids that naturally occur in the hand-selected dry hops that they use. So that's that's kind of cool to get an explanation of why it's actually like that, and not just about, um, you know, everybody's trying to get their beer clear and now they're doing hazy, they're being lazy about it. No, that's just kind of what happens when you mix these things together. So this is going to be the second New England IPA that I've had, uh, the first being Slurm from Shorts. And you can check out my review by clicking in the link in the corner. And um, the one thing that I'm not really sold on with New England IPAs is the juiciness. And it might just be that I'm expecting it something more fruit juicy than, than, you know, than what it actually is. And that, that's probably my fault. Um, but regardless of that, <clears throat> Regardless of that, I'm looking forward to see how M43 stacks up against Slurm. Maybe it's not a fair comparison. Maybe they're like opposite ends of the spectrum. I'm not really sure, but I'm really just kind of interested to see how they compare to each other. And one other thing is I've been seeing um, M43 all over Instagram. And the one thing that's really cool that I've noticed lately, especially, um, is that they're doing a really good job of keeping this in stock. Fresh batches are coming in all the time. This one's from May 3rd, but I bought this like probably a week and a half ago. Like I said, it you know, it's all over Instagram. The man's off the charts, especially in Michigan. And I think it's really cool that they're, you know, continually stocking new stuff because, you know, while I'm doing a beer review or I see somebody do a beer review online, that's really cool, you know, to see that people are reviewing this stuff. But another thing is you watch a review, you want to get your hands on it. You don't just want to necessarily live vicariously through somebody else. So with that being said, enough with the talking. Let's start the drinking. I do have my handy dandy bottle opener, but as you can tell, this is a can. So I'm not going to need that. Um, what I have instead, I mean, I'll, my finger, but I have this glass from... Holmes Brewery in Ann Arbor, Michigan, just opened last month, I think, and uh, let's check this out. Just out of the can, I can smell, it smells juicy, I, I mean, again, oh damn, I just spilled it. Again, I'm talking about, oh, juicy this, juicy that, can't believe I spilled it. That, my friends, is a hazy beer. Check that out. That is super thick. And I can smell pineapple right off the bat. I mean, you know, obviously citrusy from the hops and stuff, but it's kind of mango-y. That smells really good. I am looking forward to this. Okay, first off, this in your mouth, <laughs> the feel of this in your mouth is super thick, like it's viscous, you know, I can, I can tell that there's a lot of stuff in here, and I can, it, this is, whereas Slurm was like, 
where slurm was kind of thin. It wasn't super, it was juicy. I mean, it had like some fruity kind of flavors to it. I, I remember it being like um, orangey, I want to say. This is really complex. Like it's thick, you get the taste, you get a big punch of fruit. You get the pineapple, you get a little citrusy, like orangey. You get a little bit of the hops on the back end, but you know, even you just kind of like let the aftertaste sit in your mouth and you even feel, you not feel, but you taste other flavors. It's almost kind of sweet at the back end, which I wasn't expecting, which is really cool. This is, this is kind of mind blowing to be perfectly honest. You're watching a man have his mind blown a lot. Well, recorded on camera. That's delicious. Super smooth, the bitterness, there's a tiny bit of bitterness, but it's so balanced with everything else that it doesn't just punch you right in your mouth. You know, it, it's, it's, wow. I can, I understand why everyone's going crazy over this and why everybody's trying to get their hands on this because this is really good. If you kind of drink it a little bit quicker, you taste even more. You get that rush of juice. You know, it's not, you can't individually tell what different kind of juices there are, but wow. So I have friends that don't drink IPAs. And again, it's because of the whole pine cone thing. Um, tastes like a Christmas tree. This is something, if you know some somebody that's not into IPAs because, oh, you know, IPAs are the big thing, I but I don't like them because, because they're too citrusy, too, or not citrusy, but too bitter and too piney. Pick yourself up, do yourself a favor and them a favor, blow their mind, pick up a four pack of, the, of M43 uh, at your local, local crafts beer store and say, hey, let's sit down and have a beer and don't tell them what it is. You know, don't tell them it's a New England IPA because as soon as some people hear the IPA thing, they just fly the coop. They might be, no, nah, I'm out. No, thanks. But this is awesome. I just fi keep finding new flavors. I can't even describe what it is I'm 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 picking up. This is this is really good. Old Nation, you have outdone yourself. This is M43 is it's legit. So yeah, wow. Anyways, um, <laughs> what else can I say? This is you've got to try this for yourself. Um, anyways, that's my take on M43. Have you tried it? Have you been able to get one of these fresh fresh batches? Uh, let me know in the comments below, and if you like what I'm doing here, like and subscribe to my channel for more. Also, um, check out my Instagram and my blog. There are links below this video. You can check out my beer chronicles on my Instagram. You can check out my bre brewery reviews that I've written on drafttherapy.com. Um, just go there, check everything out. With that being said, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. This is M43, an awesome beer. And um, remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and I'll check you out next time. Cheers. I'm going to be finishing this one. Not that I don't finish the other ones. I might just finish this one now. <laughs>